all I've been thinking about all week is garbage. I mean, I just can't stop thinking about it. What kind of thoughts about garbage? <sighs> I just, I've gotten real concerned over what's gonna happen with all the garbage. I mean, we've got so much of it. You know, I mean, we have to run out of places to put this stuff eventually. The last time I, I started feeling this way is when that barge was stranded and, you know, it was going around the island and nobody would claim it. Do you remember that? Yes, I remember. Do you have any idea what may have triggered this uh, concern? Yeah, yeah. You see, the other night, John was taking out the garbage and he kept spilling things out of the container and that made me, I started imagining like a garbage can that produces garbage and it doesn't stop, it just keeps producing garbage and it just keeps overflowing. And you, you know, what would you do if you, you know, to try to stop something like that? And do you see any pattern here? What do you mean? Well, last week we were talking about your obsession with the families of airline fatalities. Now we're talking about your concern over the garbage problem. Yeah, so? Well, if you think about it, I think you'll see that the object of your obsession is invariably something negative which you have no control over. <laughs> yeah, but how many people do you think run around obsessing over how great and how happy things are, you know? I mean, <laughs> maybe they do, but I don't think they're in therapy. Anyway, being happy isn't all that great. I mean, the last time I was really happy, I got so fat. I must have put on 25 pounds. I thought John was gonna have a stroke. So what are you worried about? Well, what am I looking at here? I'm, is this a mistake or what? Oh, it depends on your point of view. I don't think so. In fact, I'm gonna tell you a little secret. As soon as you've got a ring on your finger, you start getting the most spectacular attention from the opposite gender. <laughs> That's bullshit. Seriously, God, I wish I had Super Bowl seats for every time some Philly to come up and start talking to me without the slightest provocation. <laughs> it's critical. It's just marvelous. Yeah, but that happened to you before you got married. No, 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 no. It never happened before I got married. I mean, if I'd known that, I'd gone out and bought myself a ring when I was 18 and saved myself... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. ...a lot of time and money. <laughs> No, I wish somebody clued me in. I'm telling you. It's too weird. Well, shit, I gotta be someplace. So listen, racquetball Thursday, right? Uh, how about 7.30? Yeah, fine. Great. See you later, bye. Bye-bye. Yes, sir? Janet, reschedule Kirkland for, uh, Friday, 1.30. Yes, sir. All right. Are you still keeping these thoughts from John? Yeah. Um, are you afraid of his reaction, or of his finding you silly at thinking these things? No, it's not that. It's just, well, I'm really angry at him right now. Oh, why? Well, he invited this college friend of his to come stay at our house, and, well, he didn't even ask me. I'm gonna say yes, of course, but, you know, it just would have been nice to have been asked. What upset you about that? I guess it makes me angry because I can't justify being angry. <laughs> it's his house. He pays the mortgage. Yes, but he asked you to quit your job. And you do have housework. Yeah, I have housework. That's true. Uh, this unexpected guest notwithstanding, how are things with John? Oh, they're fine. I mean, they're fine. Except for I'm kind of going through this thing where I don't want him to touch me. But... Oh, when did you begin having this feeling? Well, last week, I don't know, I just, I got this really strange feeling and ugh, just didn't want him to touch me. Prior to this uh, feeling, did you, um, were you comfortable with your physical contact with Jen? Oh yeah, sure, yeah. Except for, well, 
I've never really been that much into sex. I mean, I like it and everything, but, you know, I just don't think it's such a big deal, and um, I wouldn't miss it, you know, kind of thing. But, well, lately, I've just been kind of curious about how things have slacked off. Well, perhaps he senses your hesitance at uh, being touched. Yeah, but you see, that's the weird thing, because he started not touching me before I started dealing like that. Uh. I mean, I'm sure he probably wishes that I would initiate things once in a while. And I would, except for I j it just never occurs to me. And, well, the few times I have felt like it, I was by myself. Did you do anything? What do you mean? Did you masturbate? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. God, no. No. Mm -mm. I uh, take it from your response that you, you never masturbate. Well, I tried once. It just seems so stupid. <laughs> I don't know. It just seemed like a dumb thing to do. And God, you know, and then I started worrying that my, my dead grandfather was maybe watching me, you know, and. Oh, it just seems so stupid. You know, especially when you don't know what to do with all the garbage. Oh, so it was recently when you tried this? Oh, well, it was kind of recently, but not real recently. I am just not up to having a guest in the house. Mm. Mm. Oh, I, I, gotta, I gotta go to the office. I, gotta get back. I only get one today. Oh, gee, know. how exciting. I already skipped one meeting. I gotta get back. Look, John, if you wanna leave, leave. My life doesn't revolve around these little get togethers. I mean, don't flatter yourself. <laughs> hey, don't feel like you gotta treat me with kid gloves, and I mean, tell me how you really feel. Listen, I got a friend coming in to town, an old friend of mine that I haven't seen in years. I can tell. I think he's a little lost. I think I, I may have to spend a little time with him. Mm-hmm. Meaning we'll have to cool it for a while? Yeah. Oh, we should quit that bartending job of yours. Why? Just take the thought of all those guys hitting on you. <laughs> I can handle it. Sure. Besides, the money is good, and some of the guys are cute, and you are in no position to be jealous. Who said I was jealous? I did. You know, I'd like to do it at your house sometime. I must admit, the idea of doing it in my sister's bed gives me a perverse thrill. I wish I could just come right out and tell everyone Anne's a lousy lay. The beautiful, the popular Anne Bishop Mullaney. Could be risky. How about I just start a rumor then? No, no, I mean doing it in my house. Ready to get caught? Yeah. <laughs> you should be. Can I meet this friend of yours? Who, oh, Graham? I gotta tell you, we were very close many years ago, but I... I think we're very different now.
Yes. Ma'am, uh, my name is Graham Dalton. Oh, oh, yeah, M sure. May I use your bathroom? Uh-huh. Come on in, come on in. Where is it? Oh, I'm straight back there to the left. I'm, I'm sorry. Do you like strawberries? I brought you. Oh, some thank you. That's real sweet. <sighs> Hi, um, John Mulaney, please. This is his wife. <clears throat> That's all right. Thank you. <laughs> well, that was quick. False alarm. Have a seat. <clears throat> I'm sorry. You know we don't let people smoke in the house. But if oh, you'd no, like no, to, no, we no, can. No, 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 no. I, you know, I can quit. I'm. <laughs> I can wait. I'm. Do you have any other things? Yes. Oh, you mean to bring in? No, no. I, I mean, I do have some other things, but I don't... This is all I need to stay here. Have you ever been on television? <laughs> television? No, no. Why? Why? I was just curious. Graham. That's an unusual name. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I guess it is. My, my mother is a, <clears throat> a complete Anglophile. <laughs> Anything British, you know, makes her drool like a baby, so she, you know, I think she heard the name in a movie or something. She's a prisoner of public television now. How do you like being married? I like it just fine. What about it do you like? And I, I I don't mean to be critical, I'm... No, 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 curious. no, that's okay. I... <sighs> well, you know the cliché about the security of it. Well, that's true. <sighs> and uh, we own this house. It's a nice house. And... Well, John was just made junior partner. And I really like that. <laughs> You know, I like the fact that he's just not, you know, freelance or whatever. Yes. So, how long has it been since you've seen John? Nine years. Nine years? Yeah, I, I was surprised he invited me to stay here until I found a place. Didn't you, didn't you know him very well? Oh, no, I knew him very well. Um, John and I... We're very much alike. Really? <laughs> it's kind of hard to believe. I mean, you just seem so different now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I would imagine we are pretty different now. <laughs> I'm, re I'm ready to use the bathroom finally. Okay. Graham, I got to tell you, I almost called the cops when I saw you today. I thought to myself, this, this couldn't possibly be the same guy that once held private services in the back of the chapel on a weekly basis. You did that? Well, you know, everybody has a past, and that's mine, so. So what's with the get up? <laughs> Somebody die or what? John. I'm sorry, did. No, I'm no, sorry. No, I, I died. So, I mean, well, well, I mean, why do you think the Greeks would think of this 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 rather somber attire? I don't know. Dinner was very good. Yeah, it wasn't bad, honey. Thank you. It was usually Anna cheese a kind of critical mass with the salt, but uh, tonight was. I always tell her you can always add more, but you can't take. Yeah, you say that, don't you? So do you have family here? Mm. Mother, father, my sister. Mm. Sister older or younger? Younger. 
Are you close? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm prying again. I'm sorry. Were you prying uh, before? Yeah, this afternoon I was grilling Anne about your marriage. How'd it go? Well, I, yeah, very well. I, oh. <laughs> so I was asking about your sister? Yeah. Well, we get along all right. It's just that, uh, well, I think she's an extrovert. <laughs> uh, I just think she's loud. She probably wouldn't agree. <laughs> no, I definitely wouldn't agree. So, let's see, you know, yeah. You can see Elizabeth while you're here. Uh, um, I, don't, I don't know. Mm. Who's Elizabeth? It's a girl Graham dated in school mm. well after the chapel episodes. I, she still lives here, the best of my, uh, my knowledge. So, Graham and I were talking about apartments today, and I told him that, you know, they've got those lovely little apartments in the Garden District, and Gar that, you know, they've uh, got please, really nice, there's, the garage there's apartments. Critical, and... critical crime in the Garden oh, District. Oh, come on. It's no, not No, there, there are, oh. I don't know what kind of place you're looking for, but there are plenty of They're studio apartments relations. available so elsewhere. Any one place. I'm sorry. No, it's just, I, you know, I just think right now I have one key, you know, everything I own is <clears throat> in the car, and I just, I like that, you know, I mean, I just, if I get an apartment, that's two keys, if I get a job, you know, I'm, I might have to open or close, it's more keys, you know, buy some stuff, I'm afraid, I'm afraid it's going to get ripped off or something, I'm going to get more keys, and I just, I, you know, I just like having the one key, it's Don't clean. Don't worry about right. losing them, I always lose my keys, I hate that. You get rid of the car when you get the apartment. No, you I still have one key. Yeah, I like having the car, you know. Yeah, no. Car is important, got to be mobile. You should have to leave someplace in a hurry. Yeah, or go someplace in a hurry. Excuse me. Do you want some help? No, no, really. I'm, sure. I'm fine. It's not that much to do. Graham, do you pay taxes? <laughs> you don't pay taxes? Yeah, I pay taxes. What do you mean? Yeah. Don't pay taxes, you're a liar. I'm not a liar. Liars are the second lowest form of human being on the planet. What's the first? Lawyers. Oh, that's you, honey. <laughs> Danny, why don't you go with Graham to hunt for apartments? Oh. Show him how the city's changed. Oh, do you mind, Graham? No, I'd love that. Oh, I'd like that too. Let's do that. All right, how about tomorrow? That'd be great. Good. One key, huh? That's a great <laughs> idea. Yeah. Cindy, John, meet me at my house in exactly one hour. You are scum. I'll be there. As you can see, there's plenty of room for two. No, it'll yeah, no, it'll just be me. Uh, it's two? No. <laughs> and you know you can hang a shower curtain in the bath and make sure you put something in the tub so you won't fall. Okay. Okay. You said about three fifty. Yeah, and uh, plus the first and the last month's rent. All right, we at least month to month? Not for 350. How about 400? Um, I can live with that. I can live with that. Okay, it's a deal. All right. Ready? In here. Well, ain't you a picture?
lovely. Is it funny? Yeah. Is that for me? Yeah, it's for you. Can I tell you something personal? It's up to you. Can I tell you something personal? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta go first. Okay. Oh. I think that, um, I think the sex is overrated. I think that people place far too much importance on it. And I think that stuff about women want it just as bad as men is crap. I mean, I think that women want it, I just don't think that they want it for the same reason that men think they do. And I'm getting confused. I mean, do you understand what I'm... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I remember reading somewhere that men learn to love the person that they're attracted to and that women become more and more attracted to the person that they love. God, that's... that's beautiful. That's really beautiful. I like that. <clears throat> I'm just quoting. So are you going to tell me something personal? Do you want me to? Yeah, yeah, I do. I mean, I, I don't want it to be something gross about some scar or something. I want it to be something <laughs> really personal about yourself. You know, All right, I think okay. I I'm impotent. You're what? Impotent. <clears throat> you are? Yeah, I, I mean, I, well, I can't, I can't get an erection in the presence of another person. So, for all practical purposes, I'm impotent. Does that bother you? No. Does it make you feel self-conscious? Yeah, it, 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 yeah, I'm self-conscious. Um, not, I'm not so, not in the same way that you are. But. Me, me, you think I'm self-conscious? What? Um, I've been watching you. You know, I've been watching you. I watch you eat. You know, I watch you speak. Watch you move, and I, uh, I see somebody who is extremely aware of people looking at you. You know, my therapist. You're in therapy? Aren't you? No, I, no, I'm not. <laughs> no. I was a miserable failure in therapy. <laughs> so you don't believe in therapy? No, I, I, yeah, I, I believe in it for some people. I, I don't know, it was, you know, silly for me. I was confused going in. So I just, I formed my own theory that you should never take advice from someone that doesn't know you intimately. Oh, well, I, I, I know my therapist intimately. Uh, you've had sex with your therapist? 
No. 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 Oh, no, that's I'm, I'm, that's what I meant. Someone, uh, someone you, you've had sex with. I don't understand. I mean, how would you know? I'm, I mean, you know, how, how Oh, do you... I know, I, I wasn't always impotent. Oh, oh, okay. So let me see. You said, um, you said that I should never take advice from someone that I haven't had sex with, right? Right? We haven't had sex, <laughs> right? So, <laughs> so I, 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 I guess from your own advice, I, I shouldn't take your advice. I wouldn't. You wouldn't. Okay. <laughs> All right. Drive safely. Yeah. Right. your weekend. It's okay. Did you confront John about the visitor? The visitor? The friend of or John's who was staying at your house. Oh. Graham. Graham. Yeah. I mean, no. That actually turned out to be interesting. <laughs> you know, I was expecting him to be just like John. You know, because they went to school together and everything. You know, talking about getting drunk together and secret handshakes and... Hmm. He turned out to be really this character. It's kind of arty, but okay. Is he still at your house? No, 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 he's gone. So where's he from? I don't know. He uh, used to live in New York and Philadelphia. I think he just kind of travels around. Must be nice. So what's he like? Is he like John? No. I don't think John likes him anymore. He says he thinks he's gotten kind of strange. Is he? Strange, I mean? No. I mean, if I saw him on the street, I might think so. After meeting and talking to him, I'd just say he's kind of unusual. Mm-hmm. So what's he look like? Why? I just want to know what he looks like, is Why? all. Why? So you can go after him? <laughs> Jesus, Ann, get a life. I just asked what he looked like. Besides, even if I decide to fuck his brains out, what business is that of yours? Why do you have to say that? Say what? You know what, you say it just to irritate me. I say it because it's descriptive. Well, he doesn't strike me as the kind of person to go in with that kind of thing anyway. And you always underestimate me. I wonder why. 
I think you're afraid to put us in the same room together. I think you're afraid he'd be undeniably drawn to me. Really, Cynthia, I don't think he's your type. <laughs> my type? How would you know what my type is? Oh, I have a pretty good idea. And you don't have a clue. Look, I don't even know why we're discussing this. I mean, I'll just go over and call him myself. He doesn't have a phone. Well, I'll call him when he does. He won't. What are you talking about? He doesn't like to talk on the phone. He's not getting a phone. Oh, please. Okay, so give me the Zen master's address. I'll think of a reason to stop by. Please, just let me talk to him first. Why? Just give me the address. You won't even have to be involved. I don't feel right. Just give me the address so that you can go over there and, uh... And what? Do whatever it is you do. Do whatever it is you do. Listen to the way you talk. I talk fine. Thank you. I was still smoking that. What'd you lose? That goddamn pearl earring. It cost me a fucking fortune. I must have left it so so what are you getting Mama for her birthday? I don't know. I'll get her a card or something. A card for her 50th birthday? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Uh, you know, the woman gave birth to you. I think, you know, you might be giving Why her something. You stop, Jesus. I just thought that, you know, maybe. Okay, Anna, you know, okay. How about this? You get her something nice. And I'll pay for half. All right? Fine. 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 Okay, now, if you'll pardon me, I have to go to work. What is the most unusual location you've ever masturbated in? Well, um, one time I was flying from Los Angeles to, um, to New York. And I was, you know, how it, it was a really crowded flight, and I was, I was sitting in the middle, you know, you, I didn't get a window, didn't get an aisle. It was, it was really funny, and I was, I was just, I was just bored. My magazines were just boring. I think I had like a, a women's magazine. They were, you know, they touch on a lot of sexual issues and stuff like that. And I, I was just thinking to myself, God, that's what I need. I need a little, you know, something to take my mind off this trip. So I was just, you know, just thinking away, and then I just, I just did it on the plane, just between these two people. I, nobody knew. I mean, how were you able to not betray what was going on to the people around you? Well, you know, I have really strong muscles. It's open. Hi. Hello, Ann. I hope I'm not bothering you. No, no. I would have phoned. You busy? No, no, I can finish later. I just wanted to come by and see what the apartment looked like, you know, with furniture. Yeah, <laughs> well, I'm afraid there's not much to see. I'm sort of cultivating this minimalist vibe. You could use a bookshelf. Yeah, yeah, you think so? I. I don't know, they're, you know, they're all library books. What are these? Uh, those are videotapes. I can see that. Of what? It's a personal project that I've been working on. What kind of personal project? What? What kind of personal project? Uh, a uh, personal project like anyone else's personal project. Mine's just a little more personal, I guess. Who's Donna? What? Donna. It's Donna here on the tape. 
Donna was a girl I knew in Florida. Oh, you went, you went out with her? No, not really. Why do these tapes all have women's names on them? Well, I enjoy interviewing women more than men. It's iced tea. Thanks. Do you want, I'm sorry, do you want, do you want some lemon? No, this is perfect, this is perfect. So all of these are, are interviews, huh? Uh, yes. Can we watch one? No, I'd, uh, no. Why not? Well, I promised each of the subjects that no one would see the videotapes except for me. What are the interviews about? The interviews are about sex. Sex? What about sex? Uh, e everything about sex. What they've done, what they do, what they want to do but are afraid to ask for, what uh, they wouldn't do even if asked, um, any, anything I can think of. Well, your eyes. You just ask them questions? Yes. And they answer them? Yeah. Uh, Mostly, sometimes they do things. To you? No, to, uh, for the for the camera. Graham, this is just so. I'm sorry this came up. I'm. I'm. No, I'm sorry. I'm. I'm sorry this came up, and I'm. I'm gonna go. You're I'll, right. I'll take. Um. Okay. Bye. Yeah. All right. He doesn't want you to come over. What do you mean he doesn't want me to come over? Did you tell him about me? No, I didn't. Why not? Look, Cynthia, I didn't have time. Well, why? John's right. He's very strange, and you don't want to get involved with him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened over there? Did he make a pass at no. you? Well, what's the story, then? What's the strange bullshit all of a sudden? I mean, is he drowning puppies? It's nothing like that, OK? Well, what? Is he dangerous? No, not physically. Well, what then? I don't want to talk about it. Then why did you call me? I don't know. Hello. Cynthia, John. Not today. I've got other plans. Oh. Well, when then? How about inviting me over to dinner? You know what I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's open. Hi. Hello. Do, uh, can I help you? I'm Cynthia Bishop. I'm so. Do, do I know you? I don't. I'm Anne Mullaney's sister. The extrovert. She must have been in a good mood when she said that. She usually calls me loud. Yeah, she called you that too. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> what are you doing here? You want me to leave? No, I know. I just want to know what you're doing here. Well, like I said, Anne is my sister's sister's talk. You can imagine the rest. No, I think it's probably better if I don't characterize <laughs> that conversation that I didn't hear. <laughs> I, uh, I don't have any idea, really, what you or Anne said about me or anything else. <laughs> you want some iced tea? Sure. I don't have any lemons. The last time I saw Anne, she left here. Very confused, I'd say, and upset. She still is. 
So are you here to make me feel bad for making her feel bad? <laughs> no. She didn't tell you why she was upset? No. Thanks. So I don't, I don't understand uh, what made you want to come here. I can't imagine Anne painted a very flattering portrait of me. Yeah, we'll see. Um, I don't really listen to Anne when it comes to men. I mean, look at John, for Christ's sake. Oh, but then you went to school with him, didn't you? You're probably friends or something. No. No, I think John is a liar. I think you're right. So, come on, I came all the way over here to find out what got Anne so spooked. Would you tell me what happened? Spooked? The videotapes are what got Anne so spooked. Oh, I think I get it. Oh, yeah? What do you get? If Anne got freaked out by these, they must be something sexual. Are these tapes of you having sex with these girls? No, not exactly. Well, either you are or you aren't. Which is it? Why don't you let me tape you? Doing what? Talking. About what? About sex. You're... Sexual history, sexual preferences. What makes you think I'd discuss that with you? Nothing. And you just want to ask me questions? I just want to ask you questions. That's all? That's all. <laughs> Isn't this how you get off or something? Taping women talking about their sexual experiences? Yes. Would anyone else see the tape? Absolutely not. Nobody else sees the tapes except for me. How long will it take? Well, that depends on you. One woman used up only three minutes, and another used three two hour tapes. How do we start? I turn on the camera and you start talking. Do I sit or stand? What do you prefer? I prefer to sit. Are you ready? Okay, I'm recording. So tell me your name. Cynthia Patrice Bishop. Let's begin in a little voice. Okay. So describe for me your first sexual experience. Um, my first sexual experience or the first time I had intercourse? First sexual experience. <laughs> um, I was... Uh, <laughs> And uh, it's just the kind of thing that, you know, yeah. um, I was eight years old, and um, Michael Green, who was also eight, asked if he could watch me take a pee. And I said he could, if he, I could watch him take one too. So we went to the woods behind my house. And I was feeling that he was chickening out because he kept saying, ladies first. So I pulled out my little panties and urinated and he ran away before I even finished. <laughs> so was it a topic of conversation between the two of you after that? No, he kind of avoided me for the rest of the summer and then his family moved away. 
to Cleveland, actually. <laughs> what a shame. When did you finally see a penis? When I was 14. So what would you think? Was it what you expected it to be? Mm. No, not really. I, I didn't, I sort of pictured it. Um, I didn't think it would have um, veins or ridges or anything. I just thought it would be smooth like a test tube. It's weird thinking about it now. Uh, the organ itself seemed like a, a separate thing, um, a separate entity to me. I mean, when he finally pulled it out and I could look at it and touch it, I completely forgot that there was a guy attached to it. I remember literally being startled when the guy spoke to me. What did he say? He said my hand felt good. Then what happened? And then I started moving my hand and then he stopped talking. Yeah. John, Cynthia. How, how, how'd you get through? I told Janet I was Anne. Ah. She bought it. Well, obviously. Look, I want to see you. Uh, well, when? Right now. Oh, I, I, I don't know if I can do that. I got a client waiting. I've already rescheduled him once. I'd have to do some pretty heavy-duty juggling. Then get those balls in the air and get your butt over here. <laughs> yes, sir? Hi, Janet. Listen, I want you to reschedule Kirkland. I know, I know, I know. See if he can come in Monday, any time. Tell him, uh, tell him, uh, family crisis. Family crisis. Okay. I'll slip out the back. Yes, sir. All right. Bye. Would you like me to take my skirt off? If you wish. You're not wearing any underwear. Do you like the way I look? Yes. Do you think I'm pretty? Yes. Prettier than Anne? Different. John and Anne don't have sex anymore. Is that what he tells you? <sighs> he doesn't have to tell me. You're on fire today.
You can go now. <laughs> Just ask me questions. What kind of questions? Questions about sex. Well, why do you ask exactly? Well, I don't want to tell you exactly. You let a total stranger record your sexual life on videotape, but you won't tell your own sister. Apparently. Did he ask you to take your clothes off? Did he ask me to take my clothes off? No, he didn't. Did you take your clothes off? Yes, I did. Cynthia. What? Why did you do that? Because I wanted to. But why did you want to? Because I wanted him to see me. You're crazy. Uh, he could be bouncing it off some satellite. Some horny old men in South America could be watching. Ann, he wouldn't do that. You don't know that for sure. Well, it's too late now, isn't it? Did he touch you? No. Did you touch him? No. Did anybody touch anybody? Well, yes. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. <laughs> Don't tell me. You didn't. I did. You didn't. I did. You didn't. I did. My God, Cynthia. You're in trouble. Listen to you, you sound like mama. What are you talking about? God, Cynthia, I couldn't even do that in front of John. You couldn't even do it, period. You know what I mean, you don't even know him. I feel like I do. You don't, you can't possibly trust him, he's perverted. Look, Anne, I don't understand why this freaks you out so much. You didn't do it, I did, and if it doesn't bother me, why should it bother you? I don't wanna talk about it. Okay, then don't. Assassin. Excuse me? You're just an errand boy sent by the grocer to collect the bill. It's my Brando. That's that's pretty good, isn't it? Brown Brando? It's great. Pardon me. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking we needed time apart. Maybe you should be there for a while. Ah. So why don't you get a answering machine. There's a phone here. It's busy. Why don't you keep trying? Okay. Well, here it is. What is it? Sundress. Looks like a tablecloth. Does not. Why would she want a sundress? I mean, she's got spots on her shoulders and varicose veins. Well, Missy thing, so will you someday. And when I do, I won't be wearing sundresses. God, Cynthia. Hold on. Bye, you. Cynthia, John. Well, this is timely. Your wife is here. Would you like to speak with her? What's she doing there? She came by to show me a present that she and I are buying for your mother-in-law. Oh. Well, so when can I see it? I don't know. I'm not sure I can duplicate the intensity I had the other day. Oh, nothing wrong with trying. I don't think my sister would agree. Do you want me to stop calling? Look, I'll call you, okay? Roger. Hi, I, this is too much. I'm wearing red, you're wearing red. That's quite a coincidence, wouldn't you say? Wouldn't Look, you I'm married. Say? Really? Are you very married? Married enough. Oh, oh, I see. Well, that shouldn't stop us. I'm just here to see my sister, okay? Oh, really? Who's your sister? Is she married? So, um, what's my share of the dress? 32.50. <clears throat> it's a nice dress. 
Thank you. I thought so, too. Oh, looks like a tablecloth. But... Keep the change. Very nice. And Anne, don't worry about the dress. I'm sure she'll like it. Yeah, I think it'll... Oh, you have to go? Okay. Goodbye. I'll see you later. I'll call you. Bye. Bye. John. Mm -hmm. John. Mm -hmm. I called you last Monday at 3.30. They said you weren't in. Do you remember where you were? On uh, Monday? Uh, well, last Monday. Oh. So who'd you have lunch with? Hmm. Well, I ate by myself. Yeah, come on. Is there something wrong? Are you having an affair? Jesus Christ. I have a late lunch by myself, and now I'm fucking somebody? Well, are you? No, I'm not. God, I'm, a, I'm offended at the accusation. Come on. If I'm right, I want to know. I don't want you to lie. I'd be upset, but I'd be more upset if you lied to me. Well, there's nothing to know. I can't tell you how upset I'll be if you lie to me. It's just paranoia. I mean, if anybody should be paranoid, I should be. I hear every time I try to touch you, you act as if I'm dipped in shit. I think there are a lot of... A lot of women out there, they'd be glad to have a young, straight male making a pretty good living. Beside him in bed with a, with a heart on. My sister, for one. For God's sake, Anne. Is that who it is? Anne, I'm not, I'm not fucking your sister. I don't, I don't find her that attractive, for one thing. Is that supposed to comfort me? No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying I didn't get paranoid when you didn't want to make love to me. I mean, I could have easily assumed that you didn't want to because you were having an affair. I'm not. Well, I'm not either. Come on. Then why don't I believe you? Well, look, this is ridiculous. I mean, maybe when you have some evidence, we evidence can talk. Evidence is some evidence. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that we should not ever talk. Just don't give me conjecture and intuition. Always a liar. Well, goddamn right. I mean, can you imagine? Well, Your Honor, I'm just positive the man is guilty. I can't place him at the all scene. Right. That's all right, all right. That's what I was motive, but I <laughs> all have right. a strong All right, all right, you made your point. Okay, all right. I'm sorry. I'm just under a lot of pressure with this, this Kirkland thing. I mean, you know, it's my first big case as junior partner. I work all day and I come home and I look forward to seeing you. And it, it hurts that you'd accuse me like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> right. right. I've just got all this time on my hands and I just sit around and start inventing these, like, intricate scenarios. <laughs> and then I don't want to have wasted all my time, so I want to believe them. And <laughs> Isn't therapy helping at all? Oh, 
John. I don't know. I just feel so stupid sitting there talking about my little problems when I know those poor children are starving. Well. Hmm. Quitting your therapy is not going to feed the children in Ethiopia. so blatantly stupid, I have a hard time believing you did it. What's so stupid about it? Oh, you... You don't even know the guy. Well, you know him. He's a friend of yours. Do you think he can be trusted? I don't know. I don't know. From what you've told me, I don't know. I should have known when he showed up dressed like, like some undertaker for the art world. I like the way he dresses. tape gets into the wrong hands. The wrong hands? John, we are not talking about military secrets here. They're just tapes he makes so he can sit around and get off. And he doesn't have sex with any of them. They just talk. And they just sit around and talk. I could almost understand it if he had sex with them. I mean, almost. Why doesn't he just buy some magazines or, so, or some porno movies or, or something? It doesn't work. He has to know the people. He has to be able to interact with them. Interact? Whatever that means. Did you have to masturbate in front of I him? I felt like it. God oh, damn, gosh. you and Anne make such a big deal out of it. this? Well, yeah, she is my sister. I uh, do tell I her almost had everything. Why not? It's just something... I'd prefer she didn't have to know about it. She's a grown-up. She can handle it. And Anne is just very... Hung up. It just wasn't a smart thing to do. Oh, yeah. Did you sign any sort of paper? Or <laughs> did he have a contract with you saying that he wouldn't broadcast these things? No, sir. Well, you realize you have no recourse legally. <laughs> It's not funny. It's not, it's not funny, Cynthia. These tapes could show up anywhere. They won't. I trust him. You trust him? That's funny. Yeah, I do. A hell of a lot more than I trust you. What do you mean? Just what I said. I'd trust him before I'd trust you. Hurts that you say that to me. Come on, John. You're fucking your wife's sister. You're a liar, but at least I know you're a liar. I know, I know. The second lowest form of human being. And the first. What are you talking about? Nothing. By definition, you're lying to Anne, too. Yeah, right, but I didn't take a vow in front of God and everyone to be faithful to Anne. Actually, no. I've changed my mind. I shouldn't have called. Uh, I'm here now. Oh, I need to do something. Would you like to help me straighten up? Oh, Jesus. Is there one chair in this place that works? Well, why don't you go sit somewhere else? Come on, John. You should be happy. We've gone this far without Anne finding it out. I'm making it real easy on you. You just walk out of here. Did he put you up for this? Who? Hey. Graham. No, he didn't put me up to this. Jesus, I don't need people to tell me what to do. I've just been thinking, that's all. Now just leave. Well, maybe I don't want to leave. Maybe I want to talk. John, we don't have anything to talk about. You're right. Things are getting complicated. No, they're getting real simple.
Seven. Want something to drink? Yeah, thanks. Sorry, I don't have any iced tea left. John and Cynthia have been fucking. Yes, I know. You know? Yes. How did you know? You said it on our tape. Thanks for telling me. I really appreciate it. Why? Well, I, I haven't seen you. And I, I don't think I would have told you even if I had seen you. Why not? Because it's not really my place. My life is shit. It's just shit. Nothing's what I thought it was. John's a bastard. <sighs> Let's make a videotape. No, I... <clears throat> I don't think that's a good idea. Why not? Because I don't think it's a choice that you'd make in a normal frame of mind. And what would you know about a normal frame of mind? <laughs> That's a good question. So what do you have to do to get ready? Uh, load a tape and turn on the camera. Do it. So, where do you get your money from? The rent and tapes, stuff like that. Underneath my mattress. <laughs> and what are you gonna do when this money runs out? Won't. Are you comfortable there? Yeah, I'm comfortable. Bishop Mullaney. Margaret. Hi, it's John. Listen, uh, fine, fine. Listen, have you seen Ann at all today? This afternoon? Uh, well, no, I just... She can't... She's home. Bye-bye. Everything's fine, thanks. Bye. Ah, oh, thank God. You had me worried sick. I come home, the door is open, the car is gone. I... I thought you'd been abducted by some mad fucker. Are you all right? I want out of this marriage. I want out of this marriage. Why? 
why? <laughs> You're asking me why? Well, I'm married to you, one out of this marriage. I think you could tell me that. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. All right. Can you tell me where you went? I drove around. Then I went over to Graham's. Graham's? Graham. God damn it, son of a bitch! The backstabbing son of a oh, Mr. Honesty, huh? Mr. Apostle of Truth! Mi <sighs> well, I know you didn't fuck him. Did you make one of these goddamn videotapes? Annie. Answer me, God damn it. God damn it, answer me, did you? Yes, I did. Oh! What? Hello? John? What the hell are you doing? What are you doing? Satisfying? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you mean. Do you have orgasms? I don't think so. I mean, I, I guess it's I'm not sure that I've never had one. Thought about it. Did you 
Did you act on it? No. Why not? Because that's how Cynthia thinks. I hate it when I have feelings that she has. It bothers me when I think about men because I know that's the way she thinks. What other men have you thought about? I thought about you. Have you thought about me? Yes. What did you think? I thought about what you would look like having an orgasm. I'd like to know what I look like having an orgasm. <laughs> Can you do that? Give a woman an orgasm? Yes. Could you do that for me? No. Why not? Because I can't. Can't, I won't. I can't because I won't. You said you weren't always impotent. No, yeah, that's correct. So you have had sex? Yes. So, what happened? Was it so bad it turned you off, or...? No, that wasn't the problem. What was the problem? I was the problem. I was a... I was a pathological liar. Or I am, I should say, the uh, <clears throat> lying is lying is like alcoholism, and you're continually recovering. You know. So that's it. You lied. That was part of it. So what else happened? Well, at that time, uh, I. I used to express my feelings non-verbally. And often scared people who were close to me. Are you still like that? No. No. So you're never going to make love again? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't made any plans, so... <laughs> if you were in love with me, would you? I'm not in love with you. But if you were... I, well, I, can't, I can't answer that. Why not? I told you. I don't understand. And... The, I mean, forget about the sex, you know. I, I'm not the same person that I was even remotely, you know, I'm different in so many ways that it, it have a profound effect on the way that I relate to other people, the way I communicate. I mean, for this, for instance, in the way she and I are talking, is that would that could never have been possible. She, the way she, she and I are talking. She, who's she? I'm, I'm sorry, I always, I, that isn't what I was talking about. She's Elizabeth, is that who it is? Is that? It's the girl that John talked about. Is that who, who it is? I guess. I guess. So you're, you're, sorry, you're I... still in contact with her then? With Elizabeth? No, I'm. So uh, what do you think Elizabeth is going to think about all these videotapes? I can't imagine her being too understanding. But you're, you're, you're going to tell her about them, right, since you don't lie anymore. As I said, I don't. 
know what I'm going to do exactly. I mean, I, I, don't, I, I mean, perhaps I won't do anything. I don't. So you just, you just came back here so that you could think about it. No, I, I moved back here for some, uh, <laughs> a sense of closure. Resolution of some sort. I wanted s somebody who was very important to me to understand that. Yeah. That's. It's pathetic. I mean, you can't just. Oh my God, Graham, you. you you just can't walk up to her and show her you've changed like it's some gift or something. And look what you've changed into. Nine years. Nine years. And this is what you come up with. Is this what you want to be the rest of your life? Why are you doing this? Can you tell me that? Why are you doing this to yourself? Are you gonna answer me? No, please, don't do that. Why not? No, really, don't, don't. Why not? I just want to ask you a few questions. Yeah. Like, why do you tape women talking about sex, huh? Why do you do that? Can you tell me why? Yes, Come on. I'm just gonna keep asking. I just don't find, you know, turning the tables thing very interesting. Well, I do. Tell me why, Graham. Why? What? I, what? What do you want me to tell you? Tell me why? Why? <laughs> Anne, you don't even know who I am. You don't have the slightest idea who I am. How, am I? Should I? Am I supposed to recount all the points in my life leading up to this moment, and then and just hope that it's coherent, that it makes some sort of sense to you? It doesn't make any sense to me. You know, I was there. <laughs> I don't have the slightest idea of who I am, and I, I'm supposed to be able to explain it to you. And why? Tell, no, you, you tell, tell me why. Why do I have to explain my, myself to you? Because maybe I can help you. Help me with what? Your problem. My problem? Do, do I have a problem? I, you know, I, I look around me in this town, and I see John and Cynthia and you and I. I feel comparatively healthy. You've got a problem. You're right. I've got a lot of problems.
You know, I never told you this, because I knew it would crush you. <laughs> it would now. I fucked Elizabeth before you broke up, before you having trouble even. She's no saint. She's good in bed. But she could keep a secret. That's about all I can say about her. office? Yeah, John Mulaney for Brian Kirkland. Uh, just one moment, please. All right. Anyway, as I've always said, work is critical. I, I can be happy without a marriage, but if you take away my work, I mean, that's different. And if, uh, if Ann can't handle that, you know, well, that's her problem. I... Mr. Mulaney. Yeah? Mr. DeForest would like to see you in his office. All right, in a minute, I'm on with a client. Uh, he said immediately. All right. Jesus. Mr. Mulaney. Yeah? Uh, Mr. Kirkland has asked me to inform you that he's obtained legal representation elsewhere. And then if you have a message for Mr. Kirkland, you can leave it with me. Uh, thank you. Um, no message. All right, Mr. Mulaney. Thank you. Fool. Oh. Hope he knows what he's doing. Mr. Mulaney. Yeah. Mr. DeForest is waiting. All right, tell him I'll be in in a minute. Jesus, the old man thinks that the world revolves around a game of golf. Listen, when I catch up to you at the courts in a few minutes, I oh. better go talk to DeForest. Sure. Okay. No, just one's fine. Thanks. This is my favorite part. You know what I was thinking? I was thinking we should name our first child Rusty. What do you think of that name? Okay. You know, I spend a lot of money in here. I should at least know your name. I brought you this. I knew it was your birthday. Thanks. It's a nice plant. Looks like a tablecloth. Look, I can't stay. I gotta go. Can I call you? Do you have my work number? No. I'm wearing blue. Is this some sort of weird coincidence? I don't think so. I think it's something more. Do you live here? No. <laughs> Just passing through. Look, don't call between uh, three and five because I get real busy, okay? Okay. See ya. Bye. Okay. Bye. Very nice girl. Very nice. Hi. 